Hello everyone, Andy here and welcome to today's video. Hope you are well. Now today we're going to go through this dolly zoom effect which is also known as the vertigo effect and it's where the camera and the subject move in opposite directions. The camera will be on a dolly and it moves in the opposite direction. So we're going to look at that now. It's really quick, really fast and it gives you a really, really, really cool effect. Now before we get into the video, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and to make sure to hit that bell icon, then you'll be the first person to receive my uh, videos as they're uploaded. Now one of the reasons that I'm doing this video is to help people who are currently buying and have now got the Mavic 2 Pro, um, because the zoom, as we know, comes with the dolly effect and that is something that people are buying it for just for that reason, but in my opinion I think you're going to be compromising the quality of the camera just for this. It is so simple and that's why I'm doing this tutorial to hopefully help you guys who are going to be getting the Pro and you can utilise this in whatever editing software you've got. And without further ado, let's get on with this video. Okay everyone, so once you're in your editing software, I'm using Final Cut Pro X. You want to drop in the scene where you've got like a more lineal motion. So in this one you can see the camera is purely moving forward in a line, it's not zigzagging or anything like that. So that's the kind of shot that you're going to be using this for. All you need to do is move to the very beginning of the shot and what you want to do is you want to up the scale. I'm just going to do 150 for now, but obviously the higher you do this the more dramatic the effect is going to be. Then what you need to do is add that as a keyframe because you want it to start and stay at 150. Then move towards the end of your scene and then what you want to do is go back to the scale and revert it back to 100. Okay, so now if I just show you that really fast, can you see how you're getting that dolly zoom effect? So the foreground is moving forward but the background is kind of zooming out. This is the dolly or the vertigo um, effect and it is really cool and really simple and something that I'm going to be implementing more in my videos going forward. Um, and just to show you the same thing can be used, I've got a, a clip here where I was moving towards a tree, again you're getting that really cool effect and you can do it in the opposite direction so instead of moving towards like in the tree or in this one, so for this one you start zoomed in and then as you pull out the background is staying the same but the subject in the middle is actually getting away from you. Now that is where you start at, sorry, you know what you start if you see, I've got this 110% and then as you go out towards the end of the scene, I've gone up to 200%. So that's another way of doing it is where you actually start at your standard scale and then end at a higher scale. So that's worked in the opposite way. Really cool, really fast and really simple effect to achieve. Okay everyone, thanks for watching this video and this tutorial. I really hope it did help you and maybe it'll actually help in your decision on which of the Mavic 2s to buy. Even if you haven't got a Mavic 2 and you're like me and I've not quite got one yet and I'm still using the Phantom, then this is something you can use in your videos going forward to kind of like stand out a little bit more and make your videos a little bit more special with this really cool, simple, fast effect. As before, if you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon to keep up to date with future videos. Really appreciate any support. Thanks everyone again for watching. See you again soon. Bye.